Was in der Sonne? Ähm. Michael Bay? Michael Bay. Cloud <lacht> Shadow of Cloudy. One thing that really annoys me about this water is that the reflections are not nice. Like, there's no reflection. <laughs> I wonder if I need to bake something. Doesn't look like that. What about in game? Do I get to. information In Italy, it's late night, and usually the Twitch is full of people who was doing ASMR. Oh, really? So should we do that now? too? Yeah, exactly. Do you guys want some game dev ASMR? <laughs> like typing on the keyboard as a relaxing. <laughs> like this. Relaxing sound. <laughs> Yeah, that is really relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome guys to our channel. Today we are doing Game Dev ASMR. With us we got Lorenzo Condigelli. Lorenzo, do you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> I, I think your Discord is not picking up your volume. <laughs> What do you think about ASMR? I don't like it. <laughs> it's pretty weird indeed. Especially when they make weird noise with weird objects. I'm like, what? Yes. Or when they are chewing stuff, I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't find it relaxing at all, but... <laughs> Next time I do something like that, I will do it in a real with a mega scan. Yeah. And and then you tell me Lolo every time I have a problem. I'll be like, Lolo, join this cool. code, please. Yeah, cool. Really cool. Did they end up making a like day and day and night uh, light preset that works nice, like game engine? Inside Unreal? Yeah, like something like plug and pray that you can put and it looks good yeah there yeah. is something similar uh more it's more like you had to make two or three clicks to set up everything but it's pretty easy to set up that's good or maybe or maybe i don't remember but maybe there is already a blueprint already made yeah maybe maybe there is an already made blueprint where you can tweak the sky the clouds have you seen the new clouds in Unreal? uh yeah it's like crazy yeah, really cool really like cool the, the voxel cloud thing right yeah really cool. have, have you have you tried have you guys using it in your project yes yes we are we are using and they are really really cool
Unreal Engine, Jonathan. I'm not sure that the latest Unreal allows you to import very heavy mesh. Maybe Unreal 5? Unreal 5 seems to deal with huge poly count. But it's not yet out. A at least at what we saw from the, from the demos. But demos are always tweaky. It's too nice to be true. Yeah. I feel like I need to use the bathroom.
<laughs> so, for example, now I'm sitting back down. So I think after two, three hours, switch back. This seems like uh, the remind of mist. Do you remember the mist? Uh, mist color. Mm, no. I will send you on Discord. Ah. Reminds you of the island. It reminds. Similar layout. I still don't know what to do up here. So out of uh, eight hours, I lost ninety four thousand frames. Is that good or bad? Five percent. Some guy called Peter managed to. Can you see it? Uh, do you have the um, you know some really sort of buffer visualization? Well, we think he'd like to see. Or the base color, or so the normal, or the roughness. No, no, so yeah. you can jump between tracks as much as you like. Learn more about premium when you tap the banner. Go on, do it for Peter. No, oh, yeah. Could be cool. Not even. How big or small your business <laughs> is, making your own ad on Spotify Ad Studio is as easy as one, two, three. One. Let us know what you want your ad to say and pick out your music. We'll voice and produce it at no extra cost. Two, reach Spotify listeners based on their interests, demographics, music tastes, and more. Three, set your budget, set your dates, and you're done. Try it today at adstudio.spotify.com or tap the banner to learn more. <sighs> For now, we are pacing Quaid, but I hope eventually we will find something better to play there. Because crates is always like an easy win. What is this? If you have things better than crates, that would be ideal. Another good things that we do when we got ladder. We place crates so things behind the ladders from the side that you're not supposed to climb the ladder from. Do you have ladders in your game, Lord? Mm, kind of. Hmm. 
kind of. And is this? I have it was the old villa. Here, I'm gonna have a rock as a cover, just like this nice rock. When I'm using this asset, Lolo, I'm like, hmm, it looks familiar. What? <laughs> when I'm using these assets, they look, sometimes they look familiar. What type of asset? This cube? In general, like rocks, crates. I'm like, ah, I remember this crate. <laughs> From Mother Thing? Actually, maybe I shouldn't say it. Never I don't remember at the moment. So who else, who else is doing 3D uh, LK, apart from you? Sorry? Who else, is doing, who else is doing 3D uh, LK apart from you? Me? Uh, Nicolas? Ah yeah, yeah, sure. How's Nicolas doing with the environment 3D? He's doing great. He's doing great. He's now walking on his own leg. Ah. So... <laughs> He's doing, he's doing good, and he's now focusing on environment, and he has a good eye. Uh, yes, it's pretty, it's pretty good. He's, he's doing what you are doing basically all level, the time. Level art. So leveling, creating, and focusing on the environment. Yes, basically. And then there is another Lorenzo uh, who is who is leading the the 3D props department and also like Lorenzo no Lorenzo Nocchi, esatto. 
Yeah, exactly, Noki. And then there is uh, another Lorenzo who is making, uh, you know, he is into dynamics and effects and closing, something like that. Then we have Rocco, who is a junior 3D artist uh, who is helping us with props and props basically and then then me working working on environment and this animation but especially on the animation last period and rig and animation so and after that there is francesco who is helping me with the animation as well he's taking care of um another part which not uh, is not focused on a human body uh, character animation so yeah here we are so seven people six uh, in 3d yeah yeah six Almost six. That's cool. Uh, aspetta un secondo. Wait a second. But I have to go, but it was fun watching you guys I mean, I try to get watching the stream of the animation and the stream. Just so you guys got into channel and gotta be checking. Yeah, so like usually we don't do this. Usually we literally look at the AAA games and I'm trying to break them down to see what makes them so good. And, um, and yeah, so that's like the, the main focus of the, the stream, but uh, because today was raining, I decided to do this, and you know, maybe something that we can do, we can redo. If that's something I think that you people like. Do more, more Leo, something like that. But yeah, usually yeah. if you if you follow on Tuesday and Thursday, we, we're gonna be doing uh, the other format that I was just uh, talking about. So if you like it, join us. Join us. Hey Paul, how's it going? Nice to see familiar names here. How's it going? So just for a, a bit of background, Lolo Pole was uh, uh, is uh, I think a teacher of uh, a game dev course or someone who manages the game dev course of a university in Ireland, which I don't remember exactly which city, but... Uh, oh, sounds really cool. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna try to give an eye on those days. I think it's about... Is this works. school where you once went for a classroom? Yeah, I went, he invited me for uh, to do like a quick talk to his student. And uh, yeah, I went there. I remember it was like a few months after I got that uh, the puncture lungs. And so I had to take a boat and three autobus together. It was kind of a nice experience. Pretty good, pretty good. So right now, Paul, just for the background, we are, I'm, um, today outside Toronto was raining and uh, I was, um, I said, okay, I'm gonna stay home. I'm gonna stream, I'm gonna make this map in Far Cry Editor, which is a really good tool for, um, for who wants to play a bit with the level art because you got like a plenty of assets and you just have to build the location and create a storytelling about it. And, um, 
Uh, yeah, so today I try to make this POI. So it's, since this morning I'm streaming and I'm working on uh, this location here. The idea is that there is this outpost, outpost here, which is heavy guarding uh, this secret bunker here, which I haven't yet touched much. And uh, you got the main road, so they are there so that they can control the traffic on this road. And then there is a, a road branching out, going up, and that's where you get in the secret book. From there, you also have this abandoned POI, which I haven't touched yet, but that's ideally where the player can start and the player can see and take the path going up there or take the road and going up there or can see the tower and going up there and then take the zip line or alternatively, he, the players can uh, climb this thing and reach the top here and take down people. And then from here, you got various flanking routes that I built here. So you can go like on that side, on this to this side, you know, you frame them. Then just, I think, um, yeah, I don't know how the license will work for this because uh, in order to use this editor, you need to own Far Cry. But in general, I would definitely recommend that to who, who wants to improve uh, their level art skill. And uh, like if you have students that are like, they're really into level art, I think let, let them know about this editor because in general it's really cool. And you can really just focus on level art because you, the, the light setup is already done for you and everything is pretty easy. Like literally, if I want to add an NPC, I go there. Uh, I think sometimes it's stuck. It's based on a, like an old engine, but you got the list there and you literally select it and click it and move it there. And then you, you go in game like that. So it's also very easy to test what, you, what you're doing. Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. And uh, Block out the ordinary. Yeah. Got the animator, so you can Escaping check what you're making. Sound quality, as you feel every and beat. right now it wasn't reacting because I wasn't playing. With but, clear uh, calls. Hey there. Hello. Let me... The new Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro Wireless Earbuds. Click or tap to elevate the everyday. Oh, let me hide this up. Uh, yeah, wasn't playing properly, but uh, if you play properly, you got the spawn point here, and you can place it whatever you want. Like on top of here, and if you play properly, then you're gonna see the NPC behaving properly, and you have to pick one of those class. And then you see, you go down, and like you can use all the things, so it's definitely good for uh, see, you got this guy that it will see, shoot at me. But in general, it's really good to test the, uh, you know, le the level design of the space, the line of size, if the, is, is there enough cover, is that good, and st stuff like that, which is what I'm trying to focus as well, even if I'm mainly level art. But um, yeah, in general, it's very, it's like an easy tool to test these skills out. And then you can, uh, you also have a bit of scripting, so you can script wave, you can script, um, uh, you know, some uh, STPs, some like animation that, um, that the character, the NPC can do and things like that. So you can take the rope and swing outside. <laughs> yeah, I need to close this door because we are inside the wall. Yeah, you can see here I try to play some covers just to make this more, more playable. You, it's not, I angled this in a way that is like leading you to the objective, which is down there in case you climb from here. And then from here you got the option to go up there to the side, to go up there and then to covers, to take covers right here, or to go here. Obviously, I still have a few out what I'm gonna do here. Hope that makes sense. And with me, we got Lorenzo Conticelli, which is, which is the other voice talking in this channel uh, currently, Hi. which is a good old friend of mine. I'm gonna post uh, on the chat uh, the project is working on because it's really cool. Uh, Thank you. 
Let me see. He's based in Italy. And uh, yeah. Really good artist. And I at the moment so this is Yeah, definitely check this out. Literally you go you go you you need to buy this from here I guess and then when when you launch it you will they will ask you do you wanna launch Far Cry or Arcade and you select arcade. So it's definitely like worth mentioning, especially if you're learning a bit of level design because it gives you a lot of options, not, not a lot of options, but enough option to experiment with things without having the headache of big engine with a lot of variables and a lot of things that can go wrong. It's kind of a safe environment, a safe sandbox to play with, so it's very hard to break it. And if you break it, let's say like I take this vehicle, which is funny enough, NPCs can take and drive, which is pretty cool. If I take that and I put it like that and I try to play, you will see, maybe, yeah, we'll get some validation error and it's literally very easy. It tells you, oh, there's a vehicle stuck there and you move it there and fixed. Then you can get in game. And you can take the vehicle. And you can switch seat. His name is uh, Lorenzo. And, uh, Hi. Yeah. And he's working on that project that essentially the YouTube. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, I like this lighting. I get. I think it gets like nice details on the after. Ah, no problem, no problem. No problem, no problem. Yeah, I try to paste the light in a way that you see this sort of details on the walls. I think it works very well. You see all the metal, the specularity of the metal. And when, when I'm gonna do the puddle part here, it's gonna be super cool. The Paddle Pass. Paddle Pass. Name code Paddle Pass. <laughs> Every Good game job. now it's its own its own Paddle Pass. Has to. Indeed. Otherwise RTX aren't working. Exactly. I literally do paddle pass in my daily day-to-day -day job. We, uh, we we created we on the game we added a mirror pass instead of paddle. A mirror pass. A mirror yeah. pass. We had a couple of mirrors or shiny metals part of the game. <laughs> because the game is setting during the summer, so uh, it's not common to have rainy days and puddles. It's common to have broken pipes, though. Broken pipes, lots of that that leaks water out and makes puddles or lose water salts. No, but we have a lake. Ah, that's a big so we, we have enough water. So another cool thing about uh, this editor, Paul, is that um, once once you're done with a with a map, you can 
publish it, which means you upload it to the arcade uh, Far Cry server thing and other people around the world can test it. So in case, uh, w like I can see how this can work nicely with the students, I guess. I, I still don't know how the licensing of the game works, but uh, let's say that you make a map and you want the players, the, your students to try it out. I think uh, they can just have the same game and uh, they can just play your map as, as a part of uh, how this editor works. Which is really cool, especially in this day where we do a lot of things remotely. To fix this thing. Uh, it's a bit in the way. We can have it here. Yeah, the only thing is that the, the editor is a bit old, so the way you move around, the way you do things, I guess you're gonna get used to it, but the first two hours, you're gonna get so upset about it. <laughs> I mean, you're, you seem like to be a patient person, so maybe you'll be fine. In my case, it's kind of similar to the engine that we're using at work, so... I already went through the... the phase of getting mad at work. <laughs> yeah, I think Unreal is definitely like the standard if you want to make game. But um, yeah, the, the, the reason why. It depends why... on what type of game. What? It depends on what type of games. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, like comparing this to Unreal, I think um, the reason why I prefer this for now, for doing level art and level design thing, is that you can press play and you've got a strong system behind. So that you know that. Uh, uh, you know, the ladders will work. You don't have to make sure that you don't have to make a blueprint and everything, unless that's part of uh, the lesson that you're making. But uh, like even here, I'm taking cover, and when aiming goes outside automatically, that's all um, part of the system of this game, which makes it, which allows you to focus only on the level design and level art of this space. Even NPC, you can have NPC walking around. Well, with Unreal, I feel like if you want to have this kind of uh, interactivity, which is what you want to have when you make, when you're like training to, training level design, you kind of have either to build that and with the time uh, get to a level where you got a lot of things, or you will have uh, to install a lot of third party plugins and things, animation to get the sort of thing that might not work as good as this game. I mean, uh, it's not because I'm working on Far Cry and a Ubisoft that I'm trying to sell this product. <laughs> well, let me drink from my cup here. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I just find it like, honestly, it's like a very good editor for that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. So far, I'm just using crates and uh, very generic props everywhere just to give a pass because um, AI behaves better when they have place to co take cover. 
So if the place if the place that they are navigating in doesn't have any cover at all, they will struggle and they will behave weirdly and they will run away to the next cover they have. And uh, where we so I'm just having some random cover there that really doesn't make sense, but for now they will have AI to to better behave. Yeah, I can't wait either to finish that game. <laughs> Are you looking forward for Far Cry 6, uh, Lolo? I'm not a huge fan of Far Cry. I think I've never played a Far Cry. Fair enough. But I'm pretty uh, curious to see the art of the game. Actually, work on the first. Uh... I, I know a person who is working and it seems a good artist. So. Who's that? Uh, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't realize you were talking about me. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. yeah, it's funny because uh, both me and um, a colleague of mine, which is called Karen, we went both in in Ireland to the university where Paul is working on to do like a talk about the division. And now we both work together on Far Cry 6. <laughs> and I don't know if he, if he knew Paul, but me and Karen were also working together at uh, Sony in London. Basically. I'm working in Canada. Again, are you both? Are you working both in Canada? Yeah, and yeah she, she moved to Toronto as well after me, so I feel like she's following me because so from Sony I, she... I went to UB Reflection and she went to Massive a few months after, and then I moved to Toronto and she moved to Toronto a few months. She's a stalker, <laughs> she's a stalker. <laughs> uh, she, she's a really good artist and she makes a lot of tutorials you might have seen already some tutorial um, she made some uh, substance uh, mat substance material tutorials as well like making lava or other tutorials maybe you saw you saw like a car a very well rendered car actually let me let me get the uh, station. if you link at me This one. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, where where do I have to look? Oh. Uh, the stream. I don't know how late. Ah, uh, okay. It's late. Uh, I guess you would see. That's nice. She actually bought this bike. Very cool. I'm jealous. Um, I'm starting to see. Oh, the, that car, I remember. So she's carrying. Yes. Very cool. That is Karen. And believe it or not, Paul, but this editor, and let's touch food, hasn't crashed since uh, almost nine hours. <laughs> it's hard to say the same when you work on Oriel. Or maybe, I don't know, I haven't really worked a lot for a long time. Well, it depends on what you are doing. Yeah. I guess experimental stuff are, are always on the... On the on the edge of crashing, but I guess level dress. Uh, well, so. sometimes it happened to me to reimport a skeletal mesh and it crashed. So. <laughs> Not quite often, but it crashes. Yeah.
So how's the lesson going? Uh, oh. How's the university doing? Are students still motivating? Oh, nice. You were using my tutorial again. Thank you. I have used the, uh, with my students too last year. The, oh my God. The density. Yes. It's one of really the best guides on the web. Maybe the best. Too kind, guys, too kind. Everything is online at the moment. Paul is asking if you teach too. Uh, I used to. Yes, I, I teach last... Uh, uh, where, uh, one year ago, I had m my last lesson. I teach at an, a new university in Rome. Uh, it's a private gaming school called Vigamus. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool having having to do with uh, students. Uh, it's really it's really fun and useful. You having to do with younger people who are passionate about it and share with them your knowledge is pretty pretty amazing. So if you need, uh, if you're organizing another event like you did, um, uh, how many years ago was that? Three years ago, two years ago, maybe two years ago. Yeah, I think more like two years ago. I think uh, Lorenzo is a solid artist. It doesn't work Thank for uh, for like- Thank you for the reference level. For big company, but I think uh, that doesn't mean that I mean, it doesn't have nothing to show or to. Well, you know. I guess you know what I mean. Uh, PUBG, is the, I think, is the biggest one. Yeah. Otherwise, I stay in the indie game dev. It's so called indie game dev. Will you not consider yourself indie with the publisher now? Yeah. <laughs> You know, how how you define is an indie, yeah, Paul really would like if if there is the if there is a chance would be would be great. So yeah, how do you define an indie game level? So uh, what is an indie game? Let's ask Paul how do you define an indie game? What is an indie? If you don't have any if you don't have a publisher, if you are independent economically, or if you are independent with your own ideas, or if you are independent with the from the market, what is indie now? Because you see some many people talking about we are an indie game, and then you find out there are forty people working on it. So was you know, limited people and budget. So yeah. So we are limited people. Uh, <laughs> we have budget, uh, but you know, we don't have the budget of Far Cry. <laughs> yes, basically. But we have a we have a publisher. 
So we are not independent, but we are independent by making the game we want. So we are creatively independent and we make the game. We are uh, master of our own destiny with the game we decided to, to make. And the publisher only published the game. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. It's not common to find um, a publisher that, that trusts you and give you blank space to to create. An helicopter. Yeah, I don't know, you got to see that. <laughs> and I want to see if I can script it that uh, when, once you find the, the VIP person that you need to kill down there, you can try to escape and take an helicopter and fly away. And fly away. So will, will you destroy the helicopter before you g go down there? Will you not? So interesting to see if I can script that. <laughs> and then obviously you lose if it, if it takes the, the helicopter. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good, Paul. And I think uh, on uh, our Discord, on Discord that you just joined, you should find. Um, also, you should see there's a user called Loresi, and that's Loresi, so that you can uh, maybe add him as well. Um, his yeah. Friend, I don't know. Does Discord have friends? <laughs> yes, Discord have friends. <laughs> Hi Paul, good night. Was well, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. See you. Uh, see your name. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yes. on this call, if we're gonna do those um, talks with the student, then uh, probably we'll see.
to order some food, I need to order. Oh, it's your dinner time? Yeah, it's almost nine. Almost nine. You don't have nothing on your fridge? I don't want to sp Actually, I, I have ice cream. I can go full ice cream. 300 reasons to yeah. behind the <laughs> What I feel like... Vegan? I can, ice cream? Yeah. Like, vegan ice cream, it's a thing in a lot of places. Because they just use coconut uh, milk. Sounds oh, good. Yeah. And what taste do you have? Only natural? Pe or? Peanut butter. Peanut butter ice cream? Yes. Seems a lot of calories. <laughs> Why do you remind me that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm. Yeah, a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds your, tasty. your brain, <laughs> your brain needs a lot of calories to work so many hours. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the reminder. <laughs> you need to move, Leo. Make some exercise. I was standing earlier. But yeah, now that the summer is coming, I will definitely move more. This looks good. I need to figure out what to do in this uh, entrance here. Do you have any suggestion? Uh, I don't see it, but I don't see it clearly. It's uh, pretty dark. And I don't know if you are. Okay, I, don't, I don't know if I see what you are. I'm just. Pointing. I'm not moving the camera now, so as soon as you see the, the cars and the entrance of the bunker, that's what I'm looking at right you now. I, I was seeing you pointing down the water, so... <laughs> that's so loud today. Have you tried to refresh the page? Let me try. Nothing seems to work. Stuck on the loading. But now I see. Like, Twitch is not working? No, now it's working. So I don't know what to do there. In this space here. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can add another structure here. Actually, you know what I can do? 